Okay. Okay, this is Real Estate Fight Club, episode 86. Welcome to another episode of Real Estate Fight Club. What's up, Jay Mert? What up, Monica? How are you doing today? Good. I'm buying a house today. Nice. I've never been in it. Oh, brilliant. That sounds like an episode for Real Estate Fight Club. I think we did that. Like, do you do a final walkthrough before you buy it? I never did the initial or the final. I've never been in it. Never seen it. No, I'm going to go look at it today, but it's already rented. I like, I have a renter already too. Yes, but don't you need to see whether or not there's a giant crack in the foundation in the basement? No, I had the contractor and Alan walk through it. I was on FaceTime. Oh, okay. Got it. Cool. But I've never like physically been in it. Yeah. That's the whole thing. I had a client this week ask, could we make an offer on a house? We're out of town, but we really love this house. I'm like, Hmm, you sure you don't want to see it? And then they came back. I think we probably should see it. Forget it. (laughs) Good choice. You know, whatever. I know it happens. Okay. All right. So thanks uh, for joining us for another episode of Real Estate Fight Club, guys. We're happy to have you here. And today, Jen and I are going to duke it out over this question. When showing houses, do you drive separately or ride share? I know what you're going to (laughs) say. No. See, I think you'd think it was opposite. Since I'm so relational, you, you think I'd say, yeah, let's be in the car together and get to know right. each other. And I say the opposite. No. What? Hell no, don't Why? ride there. Oh my God. I Even I need my space, need a moment. I need to GPS. I need to eat a protein bar. I need to make a phone call. Hell no, we all need our space. Most importantly, they need time in the car after seeing each house. This was back in the days when we might see three houses. Together. Yeah, not like when we're seeing not one. Not anymore, right. They need to get back in the car, discuss amongst themselves. I want to hear that. I'll I want to know what's going on. Well, I'll ask questions when we get to the next one. So what was the talk? But I don't, I, no, no, absolutely You've not. You've never, have you ever put anybody in your car? I have in, in 18 years, I've been doing this as of the recording of this. Oh I would God, say I've done that. 18 years. Yeah, I know. But you're only 25. This is true. Thank you. <laughs> I was a prodigy. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Um, probably twice in my life. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I, let me tell you what I do. So you know that I don't like to drive, right? Yes. So, and they, sh- they know where the house is and I don't know where it is because I don't know where anything is. Even if I've been there a hundred times, I have no idea where it is or how to get there. You're bad with directions. You're the agent that's bad with directions. Correct. Okay. So I get my, my protein bar. Well, really, let's be honest. It's Doritos. I get my Doritos. I and get my Snickers. water, <laughs> <laughs> my sandwich. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. I get all my crap and I get in their car. And you make them drive you? Yeah. Do you sit in the front? Do you sit in the back? It depends on who it is. Sometimes, I, most often I'm in the back. With the kids in the car seat? <laughs> I don't have clients with kids. You feeding no, them kidding. goldfish. You're feeding them goldfish and picking their, their Tommy Tippy cup off the floor and exactly. giving it back to them. If they have a lot of kids, then yeah, I'm not doing it. But yeah. like most of the time, if we're going on showings, I request that like, if they have small children, that the kids stay at home and not come with us. Yes. A, um, a, a good because idea. it's too much, yeah. especially during COVID. It's a lot easier to be like the seller just is, they don't want all these people in their house. Yeah, you know true, what I mean? True. Cause yes. most of the time they have that feedback, like only bring the people that are like the decision makers. Yeah. Um, so most often I'm not like, well, first of all, I don't do a lot of buyers. So, right. Which is why you think it's okay to hop in somebody's car. If you had done a lot of buyers, you would know you need your space. You need your space. Oh my God. I need to make a phone call. I need to, I don't know. Eat, like I said, eat a protein bar or whatever. Bring it with you. Have your water, <laughs> all that well, stuff. I li- I'll be honest. I like the twist you've brought to this because I thought you'd say, you know, no, I'll drive them because I want to be in control and blah, blah, blah. I, like I don't want to be in control. If I do end up, if I have to drive, like let's say they have a car that doesn't fit me or like whatever, if I have to drive, I follow them. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the leadership tact there. 
<laughs> hey, I'm here to lead you through this process. Do you know where we're going? I'll follow you. Exactly. Which is a, is maybe fine in cars, but not so fine through the process. No, I lead them through the process, but they know. know where the house is. They've been stalking it. Like, I mean, buyers know everything about the house, the sellers, what they paid for it, when they bought it, the seller's shoe size, like right. They, right. they know every, they friended them on Facebook. Like they right. know everything about them. So like me taking them there does, it adds no value. And it only makes me look stupid because I have no idea where I'm going. So it's just like, I know you know how to get there. You probably know the shortcuts. You've been there a thousand <laughs> times stalking it. So like, I'm just going to follow you. I'm just going to hop in your car, or follow you. Now in today's market, when we're recording this at the time, we're obviously still in the pandemic and we're one house at a time. Do you just meet them then? Or do you say, can I catch a ride to the showing? <laughs> <laughs> it depends on where it is. Come on. <laughs> and where they're coming from. Oh, if they're Lord. passing me, I'd be like, Hey, can you pick me up? Oh my <laughs> gosh. No, no, we have, we have hit a new low at real estate. Why? Club. Monica, I'm gonna, these I'm are people you, you, what? I'm going to throat punch you. <laughs> no, pick me up. Hey, you want to see us? Yeah. Can you come pick me up? I mean, if I'm on their way, it's eco-friendly. True. <sighs> yes. And we're fr like, we are probably friends. Like we know each other. Right. So it's like, if you're going to be past me and you're going to be coming that way again, like mm -hmm. it makes sense. Okay. Let me set this scenario. It's efficient. You're on your way to the hospital. You're having a little procedure, nothing serious, just a little procedure. And your doctor calls and says, Hey, you're passing by my street. Do you think you can <laughs> give me to ride to the hospital this morning? I mean, I'd do it. Yeah, you would. Okay. Because I like the efficiency of it, you know? No. Then we Absolutely. can talk in the car. We can like, whatever, right? It's just, I like I it. I think it's you're easier. missing a level of professionalism with that approach is, is my viewpoint. I'm going to disagree. <laughs> okay. Disrespectfully disagree. I like it. That's why what do you think for. it's unprofessional? Um, there's uh, just a, an element to it that makes me feel like there's not a professional distance. There's not leadership. There's not just to me, it's this is all something. in your head. Like okay. if I'm going to someplace and it's like in the city or like, I know the parking is hard or like whatever. I don't want to take a hundred cars there. Let's just all go together. We'll be able to find a one parking spot at least instead of three and like, or two, it'll just be easier. And it makes more sense. And you, you can care. eat your Doritos on the way and not have to worry about getting orange stuff on your steering wheel. I mean, look, if it's only one house, I probably won't bring a snack, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All righty, on that note. All right, should yeah. we head back to our corner? I, I think you need a break this time. <laughs> All right, we'll take a short break here. A word from our sponsor. And when we return, we will have the final punches. Oops, sorry, Sharon. <laughs> Welcome back. Now let's get back to the battle inside the ring and close out with our final round. But Jen, do we have a tiebreaker on this? We going do, on we and have? I'm really excited about this one. So take a listen. It'll be like a small history lesson. Oh, wowza. I love that idea. I love that idea. All right. Give me your uh, less than one minute or one minute argument as to why you think you should pack your lunch bag and hop in the back of your client's car. Or why you should ride share. I think oh, it's okay. just, it's more efficient and there's no reason not to. I understand what you're saying. Like you think that they need to talk amongst themselves and blah, blah. I mean, you know, your clients, but very rarely, most of the time they want to talk to you and hash it out with you. What makes you think that the client wants to be jammed in a car with me and you, maybe they want their space. Well, that's fine. They can reject my request. Oh, they can say, no, you drive yourself. You drive your own. They could be like, most of the time they'd be, they would be like, no, or we're going somewhere after or like whatever. It's fine. My argument is that it, um, it obviously gives you a moment to think, make a call. If you need to make a call, regroup, put your GPS on, I don't know, just a little, 
a break between the action, especially if you're seeing more than one house in a day, which can't wait for those days to come back. Right. Exactly. Do you know how exciting it's going to be when like I, we get to set up four showings in a day and actually see them all. I mean, three is good. Three is fine actually. Yeah. You're showing more than like four or five houses. You need to, did we do an episode we on did this? that? Yes. Yes. You were very specific on Ref- that. Revert to the previous episodes. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All right. I think that's going to have to be the end of today's battle. How do you feel about this subject? Do you put people in your car? Do you hitchhike in their car? Do you drive separately? Oh, how do you handle this? And if you enjoyed today's episode, uh, please like, follow, subscribe, do it all, right? Yeah. And if you think, um, if you know a colleague that would enjoy this, please share the episode. And of course, if you have questions and want to learn more about eXp, feel free to call me 513-400-1691. Thanks, Monica. Thanks, Jen. See you next time. Bye-bye.